This is a video showing how to export data in the Zetasizer Nano Series software. So there are many ways in the software that you can get data out, um, whether it's just to create a table, or you want to replot some data, or you're making lots and lots of measurements and you want them to automatically export as you make the measurement. All of those can be done in the software pretty easily. So the first way I'll talk about is, let's say I just want to have a table um, summarizing all of the data for the different samples I've measured. So one of the easiest ways is to, um, in a previous video I showed you how to customize your workspace. You can customize your workspace how you like it set up. And then you can just highlight the data that you would like um, to export in this table format. And then simply copy and paste it into Excel. And then you'll have a nice table um, summarizing your data. If you want to replot some of the figures, uh, for example, let's say I have this record, or you could select multiple records as well, and you want to um, replot this exact graph. So I would go to this report, and I could go to edit and say copy size values. And it basically copies what's displayed on this graph. I can go directly paste that into Excel and have that replotted. Similarly for like your correlation function you can do that as well. Copy the values, we'll copy the values where you can um, paste them into Excel or if you're making a quick PowerPoint and you want just the graph you can copy the graph of anything and put it into your PowerPoint. Another way of doing this exporting, I can do it kind of in a batch mode. So uh, before I can do that, I have to have some sort of exporting template that tells the software what do I need, what information do I need to grab from the all the the files that you're you're asking me to export. And so to set up an export template, there's a lot of different ways of getting there in the software. But if you go to File, Export, this is where you would export highlighted results, um, but in here you'll see um, on parameters you can select to use export template parameters and there's two of default ones in there but I highly recommend um, creating your own um, custom ones um, that you can export in a batch mode so to do that you can click new and give that a name so maybe this is for sizing or something give that a name and then go to edit and this is where you would decide how you would like um, the data file to be formatted. And this is where you would decide um, what parameters you would like to export. So um, for this one, um, I can what's displayed right now is all different types of measurements. So there's a whole lot of parameters in here. But let's say this one is just for sizing. So I can go into size and then select um, what I would like to display. And some of these, um, like for example, um, some of these will show you uh, the intensities is one to replot the intensity distribution. So let's say you wanted to replot that and do that in a batch mode. You could pop that over there to your list. And this is very similar to customizing your workspace. You're basically just selecting all the different things you'd like to pull from all your files all at once. So once I've selected all of those parameters, I'm going to say OK and now I have my exporting template. So what I would do now is say, okay, um, go back to file and go back to, I want to export this to a file. Yes, I would like to do that. If you want to export all records, you can do that that are displayed in this record view. Or if you just want to uh, select just one or a few, you can do that as well and just highlight those before you hit export and then tell it where you would like to save this exported data. And you could have it overwrite a file and just add to it, or you could uh, have it just append the file name and, and just kind of um, uh, change uh, what it's saved at. So basically, you could just tell it where you would like to export that file path to. And then once I hit OK, it's already exported everything. And so now I would go back into that directory, which I can do that really quick, and see um, where I have um, uh, save that. I didn't call it anything except for the default name which is exported. Um, so it's not a, a very unique name but on that file path, path location you want to make sure that you've actually given it some sort of unique name if you'd like it uh, to be a unique name. And then you now you see all of my um, 
file has, ha has been exported. This is just to a notepad document or text document. But you can also open this in Excel as well um, and see those um, uh, occurring. The last way um, the, of exporting that I'll mention is you can do this actually automatically during a measurement. So it can actually be part of your SOP. So if you go to manual SOP and let's say we have this on a sizing measurement and you'll notice at the bottom there's this export button. Um, you can tell it to actually export the results automatically without you having to go through that extra step at the end if you so choose. So basically you would just have to tell it um, what file name and directory you would like it saved as and then do you want to overwrite that output file or do you want to append to that file number as you've um, created more uh, records. And then of course since you've already created your exporting template select what type of exporting template or what information you want to export out. And so every time you run an SOP you'll actually be adding to this list. Um, so this will be done kind of automatically in the background and you'll uh, be able to go to that file location and find that text file later. So you can do this either way um, during the SOP, after the SOP, or um, you know just manually as you like uh, for getting a table or just replotting a data um, plot here and there um, to get your results. So these are the main ways of exporting in the Zetasizer software.